Coming up on today's Airborne, Carter Aviation breaks five records in four days. Vans Aircraft issues a service bulletin for the RV6, 7, and 8 aircraft. And Lockheed Martin files for an FAA type design update. Welcome to Airborne on Aero TV. I'm Ashley Hale. During January, test pilot Larry Neal flew the Carter Personal Air Vehicle prototype, breaking five of its own records. He set an altitude record of nearly 18,000 feet, slowed the rotor to a new minimum of 105 RPMs, which is Mu 1.3, and achieved a level of 202 miles per hour true airspeed. The flight was well over one hour, the longest flight to date. Jay Carter said, quote, We are expanding the envelope in baby steps. This aircraft should be able to fly up to eight hours on its given fuel capacity, cruise at 220 plus miles per hour, and reach an altitude of up to 28,000 feet, end quote. Carter was the first to achieve Mu-1 in 2005. Mu is the ratio of aircraft speed divided by the rotor tip speed, and Mu-1 occurs when both are equal. Carter will soon be requesting the FAA to change the PAV certification from research and development to demonstration. Carter said, quote, It's time we prove to people we are for real and gain the support we need to get the technology into the marketplace." End quote. Vans Aircraft has issued a service bulletin for all of its RV-66As, 7-7As, and 8-8As flying or under construction following the discovery of cracks in the forward spar of the horizontal stabilizer. In the bulletin, Vans Aircraft says that all aircraft should be inspected for such cracks. And if they are present, the bulletin includes detailed instructions for repairing the cracks and strengthening the structure. The inspections are recommended before further flight and at each annual condition inspection until such time that the service bulletin has been complied with in its entirety. The bulletin states that the cracks may be very small and hard to detect and it provides guidance for inspection techniques. You're watching Airborne. We'll be back after these messages with more news and our feature of the day. ADS-B will be mandatory for most aircraft by 2020 in the United States, but you can benefit from ADS-B today with the Bendix King KT-74 Mode S Transponder. The KT-74 meets the global mandates for ADS-B out when attached to a suitable WASP GPS. Rebuilding the sport aviation world one aviator at a time. That's ANN's new Aerosports ebook series, your resource guide to the ultimate in aviation adventures. Aerosport will feature the straight skinny on learning and enjoying 16 unique aviation sports, from ultralights and ballooning to aerobatics, gyroplanes and hang gliders to parachuting, home builds and general aviation to RC models. All this and more will be coming soon with the new updatable Aerosport guide for your favorite electronic devices. Get your advance order in now at www. Aero-sport.net. Welcome back. If you'd like to suggest a story for Airborne Aero TV, our website or a podcast, drop us an email to news-spy at aero-news.net. Lockheed Martin officials submitted a program notification letter to the Federal Aviation Administration on January 21st for a type design update for the Lockheed Martin L-382J airplane, a civil certified variant of the C-130J Super Hercules, to be marketed as the LM-100J. Through select design changes, the LM-100J will perform as a civil multi-purpose air freighter capable of rapid and efficient transport of cargo. Because it is based on the operational C-130J, the civil variant LM-100J can operate from short, unprepared airfields without ground support equipment. It requires minimal material handling equipment and enables rapid onload and offload at truck bed height. The LM100J will be able to support a variety of missions, including aerial spraying, aerial firefighting and delivery, medevac air ambulance, 
humanitarian aid, and VIP transport. With some 2,000 Aero TV programs webcast to cyberspace, sometimes it can be fun to look back and enjoy some of the places we've seen, the flyers we've met, and the planes we've flown. Here's a look at one of our favorite Aero TV classic episodes. Each year, during the last full week of July, an impressive migration of airplanes descends on the Wisconsin Highlands. In this, this video, Annan's Tom Patton gives us a unique look at the wonders of EAA Air Venture. Search Aero TV, the nature of Air Venture on Aero TV's YouTube channel. Bell Helicopter has signed an agreement with the New York Police Department for four Bell 429 helicopters. The aircraft will be used for airborne law enforcement patrol, serving the citizens of New York City and surrounding jurisdictions. Delivery of the NYPD's new Bell 429s is anticipated to be complete in 2015. Danny Maldonado, Bell Helicopters Executive Vice President of Sales and Marketing, said, quote, We are honored to count the NYPD among our law enforcement customers, and we give our sincere thanks for their ongoing trust in Bell Helicopters, end quote. Bell Helicopters has been a part of the NYPD since 1948, when it delivered a Bell 47, the first Bell helicopter to be used as part of an airborne law enforcement team. We'll be right back with more news. Since its inception, Redbird Flight Simulations has been dedicated to developing new training technologies and processes in an ongoing effort to make aviation safer, more affordable, and more accessible. Consider Redbird's flagship flight training device, the FMX, a superior quality, full motion, feature rich advanced aviation training device priced with real world flight training organizations in mind. With standard features that are anything but standard such as wraparound visuals, a fully enclosed cockpit, quick change configurations, scenario based training compatibility and of course an electric motion platform, the FMX serves up a level of realism that is simply unavailable in other training devices on the market. For more information on Redbird Flight Simulations, the Redbird FMX, and Redbird's entire line of flight training devices, visit www.redbirdflightsimulations.com. Welcome back. If you'd like to be a sponsor of Airborne Aero TV, our website, or our podcast, drop us an email to jim at aero-news.net. JetBlue Airways pilots have filed authorization cards with the National Mediation Board to hold an election for representation by the Airline Pilots Association International. ALPA President Captain Lee Moak said, quote, A powerful majority of JetBlue pilots have made an important decision for their collective future. While they work for a great company, they can't legally negotiate the terms of their employment, end quote. The election will start approximately two weeks after the National Mediation Board confirms that JetBlue pilots filed sufficient cards, and the secret ballot is expected to be conducted over a period of a few weeks in March. The FAA has denied the aerial delivery of beer to fishermen. Have they finally gone too far? Wisconsin brewery Lake Made Beer released a video on YouTube of an unmanned aircraft delivering beer to fishermen on Mill Lacks Lake in Minnesota. Unfortunately, the video has drawn the wrath of the FAA. In the video, a clerk is seen taking an order for beer and attaching it to a six-rotor copter, which then flies off to a fishing shack on the frozen lake. Jack Supple, the brewery president, said in a recent television interview that he felt that it was smarter and safer to deliver on a frozen lake than to a congested city. That was not, however, the opinion of the FAA which contacted the company to tell them that they were conducting a commercial enterprise with a UAV in U.S. airspace that is still not authorized by the FAA. New rules are supposed to be in place by 2015 that could allow the airborne beer delivery to take place. Until then, fishermen on Mill Lacks Lake will have to get their beer the old-fashioned way. Well, that's our program. Remember to get comprehensive real-time 24-7 coverage 
of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. Please remember Airborne is streamed three times a week and is always online. Join us every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for a new edition of Airborne. I'm Ashley Hale. Thanks for watching.